Okay guys, today we're gonna add a little bit of refrigerant to our AC. It is common for cars to develop a leak in the, in the AC system. Uh, the system runs empty and the cars start blowing uh, hot air through the summer, which can feel very uncomfortable. So here the tools that we're gonna use for these is a can of Easy Shield Antifreeze with leak sealer. Um, I got this for under $10 at Walmart. Uh, we're gonna need this little adapter, also bought it at Walmart for under three dollars. The cane has a cell uh, self-sealing valve at the top. I'm showing this bottle only because I bought this last year, and came with this uh, this adapter and a gauge, which was gonna help us do the job. You can have many different kinds of these. We're also gonna be using, of course, some gloves and some safety glasses. So one of the things that I emphasize um, in the jobs that we do is why we're doing it, right? So if you want to do any any uh, job at your house, you're doing it hopefully because it's going to save you some time and some money. But it's good to understand what what is it that you're trying to fix. So the AC system normally uh, is a seal system, so there should be not need to recharge it at any time. And if you're having to recharge it, it's because you have a leak in the system. So it is up to you to, to uh, determine what's most cost efficient. You could take this to a mechanic or to a professional, have it inspected and, uh, and fixed. You can also add some refrigerant, which is what I'm gonna do, but that's gonna, that's gonna help you only if the leak that you have in the system is small enough to, to take a charge and last you the whole summer. Uh, again, if you're having to recharge this constantly, uh, you might be better off taking it to a mechanic and having it inspected. Okay, so I put the adapter in the can. You can see here, and I'm gonna be connecting the hose now to the can just like this. Uh, there are two ports here. They're located in different places depending on the car that you're working on. This is a 2005 Honda Accord. Uh, there is a high pressure is marked by an H and there is a low pressure So the one that we're gonna be connecting to is a low pressure one and the way this adapter was designed It would only hook up to the low pressure just to avoid uh, or, or to eliminate the chance that somebody will try to hook up to the high pressure one So again, this is the port that we're gonna be connecting to so uh, Before we can measure the pressure in the system and before we can add the refrigerant we have to uh, start the car, uh, start the AC system, turn the blower all the way to the highest position, and lower the temperature the, the, the most we can. Uh, I'm getting ready to do that now, and at that point, the engine is gonna add noise to the video, so. So, I am connecting to the port now. You can see I'm pushing this up, pressing down, and releasing. So the gauge will tell you what is on. Uh, again, the AC system is running, blower to the max, temperature at the lowest point. Uh, green means that it's in its refill. Blue means that it's filled. The yellow is a warning. The pressure is too high at that point. And, uh, and so is the red, right? So the yellow is alert, the gauge says. The red is a warning. This process takes a couple minutes, not a couple, it takes actually a few minutes. But you can see in the gauge as I'm recharging the system, it went from the green sun, it was all the way down. Uh, it went from the green sun, uh, now it's creeping into the blue, which is the fuel sun. Ideally, I'll take it all the way close to 45, and that should get us the, the result that we want there. Uh, it might take, depending on, on uh, Depending on the car and the size of your system, it might take more than one of these cans to fill up that system again. So, by now, I have added one and a half can of refrigerant. You see the gauge is now in the midpoint of the fill area. So, 
Uh, I already went and checked the car. The car is blowing cold air. Uh, so for under 25 bucks, I charged the system and I'm now gonna have cold air for my summer. Again, if this car starts blowing hot air again, my best bet is gonna be to take it to a mechanic. Because uh, it might not be cost efficient to recharge this system over and over and over. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, once I'm done doing this, all I'm gonna do is unhook from the port and put the lead back in it again. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this helped.